I'm sure this is becoming quite humorous for you guys, uh, but I had a technology glip glitch once again. So I recorded the first part of my five things I love about the spider uh, in time warp. So I come up here to edit and it's, I'll just put some up here and let you see it. I laugh at myself sometimes with it, you know, because I'm really not that technically challenged. Uh, in fact, really not at all in some areas. But when it comes to these cameras, you know, I, I've got to learn to look at that. But anyway, I've got it recorded here, so here's the video. Oh, and one other thing. Uh, part of what I was saying in the time warp version was that on the background screen, uh, I wanted to highlight a channel. One of my favorites is Purple on 3. So in the Spider Garage on the screen, I had Purple on 3's channel playing uh, and quite enjoy that. Uh, and you guys will see it when I'm, uh, when I'm doing the five things. It's just in the time warp. It's also time warped. So here we go. The number five reason I like the Spider is, is the, the, uh, look, the design. The design, uh, you know, it's a beautiful machine. It's a beautiful machine and it attracts attention wherever you go. So if you, you know, if I stop for gas, if I go to a restaurant, someone will come up and ask me about it. Uh, and sometimes small groups of people will come up and ask me about it. You know, you just don't see a lot of them out on the road. And uh, so it attracts attention. So that, that's the number five, it's the design. Uh, the number four is the storage. Um, the the F3 Limited has about six and a half gallons of storage. You know, it's not a whole lot. Uh, it's not as much as the RT does, but but it's still uh, quite a bit. And the um, uh, and then we we've talked about putting a luggage rack on the back of it, and uh, and then so we could put another bag up there. You know, it doesn't have a luggage rack on it, uh, but you can add them. And we have looked at them, and and uh, if we do more more touring like that and we fill up what we have I think we'll we will add that uh, even to the point if we did a lot we might get us we might get a trailer uh, a spider trailer uh, don't know if we'll go that far honestly when we go on trips uh, we will generally uh, up as a long trip we're going to put it in the trailer and, and haul it I know it's a no-no but you know uh, Mrs. 602 is not going to do a ride like uh, like Coach Bob and Coach Vic did. You know, Coach Vic is a trooper on the Coach Bob 3 channel. Uh, they went from Florida to San Diego. Fantastic video you should check out. They went from uh, from Florida to Maine. They went actually went from Florida to uh, Tallahassee to Key West and then to Maine to the to the Canadian border. Uh, so uh, and they went through lots of rain and lots of things. And I can just tell you. You know, Coach Vic is a trooper, but Mrs. 602, she's not, she's not in for that. Um, she has a certain comfort level she likes. Uh, so, okay. And that kind of ties into the number three reason I love the spider. Uh, the number three reason is uh, you know, that the wife likes it. She likes to go on it. She, you know, we'll, we'll, we may be running a, just a little errands around here, and, and uh, she'll say, "Hey, can we take the spider?" Which uh, she loved riding the Harleys, uh, but she never said that, you know. And, and she went and she went went out and you know, took the spider training and got her license on the thing. So and, and plans to ride it more uh, this spring and summer. So uh, so that's a great reason, uh, and that really ties into the number two reason is just the the comfort of it all. I mean, it's so comfortable you can you can ride it for hours and miles and miles and miles and hours and and it doesn't wear you out. Uh, now it can get a little tiring when you're in the mountains and you're and you're cranking it a little more on the uh, handlebars because you're not leaning like you're on. Well, you are leaning, but you're leaning opposite. Uh, so you are still working the handlebars a little more than you will with a two wheeler. Uh, but on the, your your trips, uh, you can ride a long way without without you know you get off and you feel fairly refreshed. Uh, uh, and then the number one reason. Is the handling man? The thing rides like its own, or handles like its own rails. Uh, it, it, it's so fun to ride. It has a lot of power. It has 115 horsepower. Uh, it weighs right at it's like uh, like 988 pounds of dry weight. 
So there is some weight to the thing. It has 96 foot-pounds of torque. Um, it's like a little sports car, kind of, but, you know, it is a motorcycle. Got the throttle, got the handlebars. Um, so I really like the handling. Uh, and so that is my number one reason. You know, it's, it is easy to ride. Uh, you know, uh, someone that's never ridden a motorcycle, if they get on a two-wheeler, they have the balance issue, you know, uh, and, and they have a clutch, which if, they, if they're not familiar with manuals or with motorcycle clutches, you know, that's a challenge. The Spider is a semi-automatic. Uh, you could tell someone, you know, one time, look, it's going to automatically shift down for you. You just have to shift up. Now, it has a paddle shifter for shifting down, and I'm more aggressive, so I'm, I'm, I shift down myself most of the time. I'm a little more aggressive at it, but, but you don't have to. I can tell you, Mrs. 602, is, is, she's not going to downshift, uh, I don't think. Uh, and, uh, but she does know how to, so she has moved it around here, and we did, uh, we took it, uh, we took it up the street, and she, she, she rode around on a, on a fairly private road. Uh, I think I have video of it somewhere, but, but she really enjoyed it. She hasn't ridden it out, uh, out in traffic that much yet. Uh, but again, she plans to. So yeah, so handling is fantastic on it, and that's my number one reason for. Uh, why I love the Spider. Uh, it's pretty decent gas mileage too. Not not as much as I don't think it got as much as the Harleys I have uh, or the Yamahas or the Hondas. Uh, uh, I don't think it, it gets that good of gas mileage, but I think I'm getting around 32 miles a gallon with it, which is not terrible. Um, but yeah, I'll put the specs for it down in the description below. Actually, I'll I'll post a. I'll post a pop-up with the specs on it so you guys can can see that. Uh, my next video, I don't know if it'll be the next one, but I'm going to do the five reasons I hate the spider. Uh, maybe next Tuesday we'll plan that and we'll do the five reasons, and hopefully I'll get to ride. It's going to be even colder tomorrow. Uh, I haven't looked at the weather past that. So uh, I will be traveling some for, for business uh, uh, not far, but some this end of this week and then uh, middle to the end of next week so i may be a little slacker on posting some things uh, uh so i don't know if my next video will be the five things i hate but i will have that out by friday or by, by tuesday of next week uh, and i may get another video in this weekend again if it warms up a little bit uh i really would like to get it right and get some filming there so so thanks guys for watching the channel i really really appreciate it hey and just remember to check out below uh the road warrior foundation it's a foundation near and dear to my heart it's, uh, it's, they provide Can-Am spotters uh, and training for uh, wounded and disabled veterans. Uh, and they take them on these epic adventures. Uh, it's well worth checking out. So check that out for me if you don't mind. Thanks a lot, guys.